Hello and welcome, it's Annelie van Rensprag. Um, in my first video I showed you uh, on what you can paint on the different surfaces and so on. And this is the lid, I don't, I, I, I don't know if you can remember, I had this uh, old lid of a drum. Um, I'm going to prime it and I'm going to paint something on it. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use roof, roof paint, exterior roof paint. Um, Take the heat and you can paint it onto tiles or onto iron, iron, uh, iron roof, I don't know, tin plata as we call it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly just stir the paint and then I'm just going to quickly give it a one coat and then I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna give it another coat. I've prepared it, I've sanded it, I've um, washed it, I've taken off all the grime and um, uh, even the rust so for me now it's going to be an undercoat with the roof paint and um, I've got a few different colors like yellow and blue and red and yellow ochre and turquoise and stuff like that that's outdoor house paint that I'm going to use on top of this some of them are roof paint like blue and so on but um, I'm going to use what I have and the rest I'm going to just use outside outside paint for your walls and stuff just going to quickly go around this corner here And um, when I've given this a coat, I'm going to let it dry completely, then I'm going to give it another coat, and then I'm going to do my um, sketch, and then I'm going to paint it. I want to hang it outside, so uh, that's why I'm using the roof paint, otherwise you can maybe just Put a normal PVA on it, a water-based paint. This is all water-based I'm, I'm busy with at the moment. I just want to make sure I'm into all these corners. I don't want the rain and the water to go in there and let it rust too quickly. Just got a sponge brush here because um, I like it because it goes into every nook and cranny. I'm just going to quickly have a look if I miss, maybe missed somewhere. And there you go. So now I'm going to put it outside to dry and I'm going to give it a second coat. Let it dry and then I'll come back and I'll do the sketch and I'll paint the painting on top. I'm gonna start with my, my dark blue on, on top. Just make sure you can see. I'm taking a sponge brush because I want to cover it very quickly. It tends to get very dry very quickly. Um, I'm going to cover that because I'm not going to go in between everything there. I'm going to cover it up. Um, maybe I'll need to do two, two coats when it's dry. I'll just see because I'm not sure if it's going to be a little bit uh, transparent. I'm 
going to go into a little bit um, of white and uh, turquoise for the bottom. As I said, I think I'm going to need to give it two coats. Just going to blend that area quickly. Remember you want it to go all the way the same color through to that side as well. Just going to cut in here near the body and in between the arms and the head. I'm not worried too much now. I, I um, can fix that later. I just want to bring the color, color through to the other side. I want my lightest color here where it touches the earth. towards the bottom you can see it's already drying there so it's going to be a problem to blend it in there you'll need to put some paint there and start again. I think I'm going to let it dry now because as I can see it's um, you can see the lid at the bottom here that I don't want. I want it to be just a lot of paint. So I'm going to quickly let this dry and then I'm going to give it a second coat. I think while I'm waiting for this to dry let me just fix that. I'm going to take a little bit of my um, yellow and my blue, I haven't got a green, so I'm mixing the two up to the green that I want. Um, I'm going to make it lighter on top. As I go to the bottom, I'm going to slightly darken it. Over my, um, I'm just leaving traces where I want to put my roots and stuff. So um, I'm going to fold these in between, slightly darker, put a little bit more blue. It was actually maybe better and do to do the whole background and then do your sketch over it. But yeah, I'm I'm this far now, so I'm just going to to go with it. Eventually, I hope this will all make sense. I'm putting a little bit more texture at the bottom here. The roots go into the earth. A 
little a bit lighter when I come to the, the back. There you go. It's still a little bit wet there, so I'm just going to let it quickly dry off and I'm going to give it that second coat. Okay, sorry, I forgot to put on the video. I just went over my lines there. I'm just going to quickly put in my, my boots. And then I'll start painting. I just want to put in the basic shapes. So that I can know where in the wind I need to, you know, want some of the stuff and roots and everything. Um, okay. You don't need be, to be too precise. Otherwise, I like the looseness and stuff. Sorry if I stop talking, just sometimes I forget to uh, talk as well. As I said, it's, it's, uh, I'm still new to this, I'm not um, accustomed to paint in front of somebody. Okay, I think that for now is almost enough. I'm going to highlight, I'm going to take my little bit of burnt sienna now and buy me a little bit of yellow ochre and white. For the figure. I will work here in the root section for now. I'm just gonna touch here and there, and this if my my um brush gets dirty or darker I'm gonna start in the biggest part that, it, that my roots are and then I'm going to go all the way down just touch here and there so as I progress from this this side to this side to the, to the bottom it will gradually get darker as it goes into the other paint Don't worry too much, just enjoy. The main 
everything is to enjoy your art. Don't be scared. If it's a, if if it's um if there's something that doesn't work for you, you can always cover it up later. As soon as it's dry, you can go over it again. Just make sure there where you overlap to make it a little bit lighter than the one at the back. Almost done with the roots now. That's too light there, I'll fix it now. I'm not going into much detail and stuff because I'm anyway going to hang this outside. So, um, rain and the sun and everything will take its toll eventually for now I just want to enjoy it you can even put a little bit of black in between if you would like to work on the body. Um, I'm going to keep the sides dark because it is a rounded object so what happens is your, you've got a round object so it's I'll show you now when I highlight them. I'm going to make dark underneath the breasts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my burnt sienna, my yellow ochre, my white. And I'm going to start highlighting here on the belly. And I'm going slightly into the sides to blend in that dark color. Um, just remember this uh, house paint it, um, doesn't behave like your artist acrylics so sometimes you will need to get to go over it twice or more than once but just make sure it's dry before you start otherwise um, what happens is sometimes then you pick up the color underneath that I don't like it there. Remember it's a tree so um, treat it as a tree. Okay, now I'm going into the breasts. Just see if you can see me. I'm just slightly wetting everything again. Better to blend in for me. I like to blend in wet and wet, and sometimes at the end you can dry brush a little bit. Okay, so you've got a little bit of um, highlights here on your face. It comes down to your chin. And then the highlight is going to be somewhere around the shoulder bones here. As my, my brush gets dirty, I just go into the other 
colors that I want slightly darker. So the breast should catch light. Depends on where your light is also, but as this is outside, I'm not going to worry too much. I'll probably come back and highlight a little bit more once this is dried a little bit because it's too wet now. at the bottom because our arm is a little bit bigger and then it tends to go smaller so maybe I'll need another quick brush slightly wet at the moment so it's easier to blend it in there um, now okay now I want to start with my my moon at the back I'm gonna put a little bit of brown in and I think about a little bit of white and yellow maybe just want to get a brush sorry I just want to put this in the water remember if you paint with acrylic to uh, keep your brushes not dry out. I just want to quickly mark my circle. bit of my dark color into my moon I even go a little bit of black now I'm gonna pick up more white texture on it so I'm just dabbing my brush into this I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then I'll go back with a little bit of more color I think I want to put a little bit more black in there Okay, so for now this is enough. Um, I just want to quickly cover this area here. Well, um, I've got a little bit of paint still left that's not dry. And then I'll come back and I'll work on the figure again. And uh, I think I'm going to put a little bit of fruit or maybe flowers in here as well. 
so um, I'll just decide as I go along. I'm going to hang this in my studio outside. So um, I will need to varnish it. Just going to make it a little bit slightly not too round there. Just going to put a little bit of light falling onto the grass there. Just to highlight it a little bit because the acrylic tends to darken as it dries. So, um, Always just uh, see if it's too dark for you, just go over here and there a little bit with your lighter color. I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow and black. And I'm going to put a dark green on this side to resemble the, the, the um, leaves and stuff. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do here. I've taken a, another picture that I used as an inspiration and I um, so I'll, I'll just go as I go along I'll, I'll figure it out. I want to highlight on top of this. So yeah, I don't have my almost stay in the way. Remember if you want to make yourself a green, because I don't have a green here in, the, in this paint, you can take your black and your yellow, or you can take blue and yellow and just decide how much of which color you want there. I think I'm going to put a few flowers in here, not too much. And I think I'm going to bring in a little bit of red, because I'm working with the colors that I've got. So um, I need to improvise. a little bit of my black with my red I'm not going to wait too much I just want to give the impression I think that's maybe too much but it's alright I'll let us go all the way. I, I usually intend I usually intend something else and then I just overdo it anyway so that's one of the problems that I've got with my own art is um, 
I like a little bit of too much, but it's okay. Sorry, I hope you can see this. Let me just check you. Yeah, okay. make this in front slightly bigger and then I'll just make it a little bit smaller to the back I'm just gonna quickly let it dry a little bit before I highlight them a little bit I'm just gonna put in the The little hearts of the flowers. Back to the moon now because um, I think it's a little bit drier. I'm going to take my white and my yellow. Some of the black is still a little bit wet, so I'm just going to soften it a little bit. And there you go. And I'm going to decide I'm going to put a little bit of leaves here and there. Do something that at the top with the the greener greener effect there. I think I'm just going to take out a little bit of my blue if I can find it. Just want to highlight some of these leaves. Just want to give a little bit of more with my yellow, my white. Just want to 
right back around a little bit. I'm just going to give her a, a little bit of hair. And then I think I'm always almost done. I'm just talking it slightly around the figure. I'm docking it all around her because I want to push her here a little bit back. Just gonna highlight a little bit in between. Let's see. slightly highlight there. I want her arms to come forward. here and there where I can see it's needed not too much
almost forgot about the flowers. I just quickly put the leaves on there. I'm not going to make all the flowers this color. I'm going to leave some of them here and there a little bit darker. Finished for now. Um, you can see it's uh, the blooms is coming out now. It's starting to bloom. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm gonna hang this outside as I said and then um, I'm gonna varnish it with a water based outside uh, varnish that, that you can use outside and then I'm gonna enjoy it have a lovely day